In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on December 12, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Toronto Maple Leafs vs New York Rangers In the bustling metropolis of New York, a thrilling clash unfolds on the icy battleground as two Eastern Conference powerhouses vie for precious points in the standings. The Toronto Maple Leafs embark on a challenging road encounter against the New York Rangers this Tuesday night, seeking to build on their recent momentum. Just the night before, the Maple Leafs showcased their prowess by blanking the Nashville Predators 4-0 on home ice, with the dynamic Austin Matthews netting two impressive goals. The Rangers, on on the other hand, enter this showdown with an impressive 19-6-1 overall record, having triumphed in their recent bout against the Los Angeles Kings with a commanding 4-1 victory. Vincent Trokek displayed his playmaking finesse, contributing three assists to the Rangers' offensive onslaught. Despite the Rangers owning a 6-3-1 advantage in the last 10 meetings, the Maple Leafs have turned the tide, securing victories in their two most recent encounters, including a hard-fought 3-2 road win on April 13, 2023. Analyzing the Maple Leafs' performance this season reveals a team that excels in offensive firepower, averaging 3.33 goals per game placing them at a commendable ninth rank in the league. However, their defense has proven vulnerable, conceding an average of 3.17 goals per game, placing them 17th in the defensive rankings. William Nylander has been a key contributor, showcasing his scoring prowess with 13 goals and 19 assists. The Maple Leafs understand the importance of a swift offensive start to secure victory. Toronto's resilience on the road has been commendable, with only two losses in 11 away games this season. Their recent form has been formidable, winning three three of their last four away matches and four of their last five overall. The Maple Leafs goaltenders have demonstrated remarkable skill, limiting opponents to three goals or fewer in 10 of 11 away contests. However, the injury to Chris Crater, the Rangers' second leading scorer, poses a potential challenge, as he remains listed as day-to-day -day with a lower body injury. While both teams boast potent offenses, Toronto holds a significant advantage in defensive prowess. New York's goaltenders find themselves near the bottom of the league in average goals allowed per game, making the Maple Leafs the favorites to outscore their opponents. Consequently, the Toronto Maple Leafs' money line stands as our full-game side pick. As the game unfolds, the over-under dynamics come into focus. Toronto, with a season record of 12-11-1 for the over, has witnessed an average total of 6.5 goals per game. However, on the road, this number drops to 5.55 goals per contest. Conversely, the Rangers have leaned towards the under, posting a 14-11-1 mark in their 26 games this season. The average total in their matchups hovers at 5.96 goals per game, slightly rising to 6.18 goals per game on home ice. Recent trends suggest that five of the last six meetings between these two teams have stayed under the projected total. Considering Toronto's fatigue and the Rangers' solid goaltending, the game is likely to stay below the total. Therefore, under the projected total serves as our full game total pick. Arizona Coyotes vs. Pittsburgh Penguins On Tuesday, the Arizona Coyotes are set to engage in the back half of a demanding back-to-back, -back, crossing over to the Steel City to clash with the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Coyotes are coming off a road skirmish in upstate New York against the Buffalo Sabres on Monday, following a disappointing 5-3 defeat by the Boston Bruins on Saturday. This marked their second consecutive loss after an impressive five-game winning streak. The Penguins, on the other hand, find themselves in a four-game slump, with their offensive struggles taking center stage. Over the last three games, Pittsburgh managed to tally a mere three goals, underscoring a broader issue with their season-long offensive performance. Despite possessing several formidable goal scorers, the team is averaging 2.88 goals, while their defense has held up relatively well, allowing 2.62 goals per game, placing them at the sixth spot. Nonetheless, heading into this matchup, the Penguins urgently need to revitalize 
revitalize their offensive prowess to climb the Eastern Conference standings, where they currently sit 14th with 25 points, just three ahead of the Ottawa Senators. The injury report for both teams adds a layer of complexity to their respective challenges. Arizona is grappling with the absence of key players like Travis Boyd, Brian Little, and Jacob Voracek, among others. Pittsburgh, too, is dealing with the sideline status of Nola Kyrie, Matt Naito, Brian Rust, and Rickard Rakel, as the Penguins struggle to maintain relevance in the Metropolitan Division, currently holding the seventh position. They remain a mere six points behind the coveted third spot, the last qualifying position in the division. With nearly 60 games still to be played, Pittsburgh's goaltender, Tristan Jerry, emerges as a standout performer with a solid 2.48 goals against average and a .918 save percentage in 20 appearances, boasting three shutouts. The Coyotes enter the contest with the challenge of playing on tired legs, having faced the Buffalo Sabres just the night before. Their defense, a crucial aspect of their game, will need to rebound from the five goals allowed against the Boston Bruins. Despite a respectable average of 3.23 goals scored, Arizona's defense is conceding 2.96 goals per game. Clayton Keller has been a key offensive contributor with nine goals and 16 assists. Pittsburgh, with a commendable goals against average of 2.62 holds a defensive edge over Arizona. The Coyotes, historically, struggle on the road, losing 15 of their last 20 away games. In contrast, Pittsburgh, despite recent challenges, maintains a strong defensive record. Recent head-to-head -head statistics heavily favor the Penguins, who boast a flawless 10-0-0 record against the Coyotes in their last 10 meetings. Pittsburgh has dominated with an average of four goals per game, while Arizona has struggled, averaging only 1.5 goals. The Penguins have won the last four meetings convincingly, each by a margin of three goals or more. Considering the Penguins' recent struggles, this matchup offers an opportunity for them to rebound. Despite their difficulties, the Penguins are poised to exploit a fatigued Coyotes defense. As such, our full game side pick leans towards the Pittsburgh Penguins winning and covering the spread as favorites. Examining the total pick, both teams showcase solid goaltending, with the Penguins holding a goals against average of 2.62 and the Coyotes maintaining a respectable 2.96. Pittsburgh's recent offensive struggles, scoring three or fewer goals in nine of their last ten games, combined with the Coyotes' tendency for lower scoring affairs against Eastern Conference teams, suggest a game with fewer goals. The under is supported by the fact that in the last ten meetings between these teams, the average total goals have been 6.5, and the under has hit in six of those encounters. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Detroit Red Wings vs. St. Louis Blues In an upcoming clash, the Detroit Red Wings are set to face off against the St. Louis Blues, and the two teams are currently on divergent paths in the current season. The Red Wings boast a solid 14-8-4 record, securing them the fourth spot in the competitive Atlantic Division. Conversely, the Blues find themselves with a 13-13-1 record, and after three consecutive losses, they've slipped to sixth place in the Central Division standings. Both teams are eagerly seeking victories to enhance their positions within their respective divisions, and the impending game promises to be a riveting encounter. In their most recent outing, the Detroit Red Wings suffered a setback, falling to the Dallas Stars by a score of 6-3. Although Detroit initially took a 1-0 lead in the first period, Dallas countered with four consecutive goals, sealing the victory. The Red Wings faced a barrage of shots, with Dallas outshooting them 35-30 and struggled on the power play, going 1-4. This defeat adds to a recent losing streak, including losses to Ottawa and San Jose. The Red Wings' offensive output has been commendable, averaging 3.73 goals per game, while their defense allows 3.15 goals against per game. Key player Alex Dabrinkat leads the team with 13 goals, 13 assists, and 87 shots on goal. Bill Hussle is slated to be the starting goalie, boasting an 8-4-2 record this season. On the other hand, the St. Louis Blues enter the upcoming matchup with a 13-13-1 record, having suffered a 3-1 defeat against the Chicago Black Hawks in their latest game. Despite allowing the first three goals, St. Louis managed to avoid a shutout by scoring late in the third period. The Blues outshot Chicago 39-24 but struggled on the power play, going 0-3. Similar to the Red Wings, the 
Blues are amidst a three-game losing streak, including defeats to Columbus and Vegas. St. Louis is scoring 2.78 goals per game, with a defense allowing 3.22 goals against per game. Robert Thomas leads the team with 10 goals, 17 assists, and 60 shots on goal, and Jordan Bennington is set to start in goal, holding an 8-8-1 record this season. In recent meetings, the Blues have dominated the Red Wings, boasting a 7-2-1 record in their last 10 encounters. The offensive statistics in these matchups favor the Blues, with Detroit averaging 2.4 goals per game compared to the Blues' 3.7 goals per game. Despite the Red Wings' strong offensive performance this season, the potential absence of star player Dylan Larkin could pose challenges in this upcoming contest. Analyzing the upcoming game, the Blues are poised to capitalize on their home ice advantage and rebound from their recent offensive struggles. Players like Robert Thomas and Jordan Cairo are expected to lead the charge in the offensive zone, creating opportunities with swift passes. Defensively, Justin Falk and Nick Letty aim to stifle the Red Wings' offense by creating turnovers at the blue line and limiting shooting lanes. The Blues are predicted to secure a much-needed victory on their home ice, making the St. Louis Blues' money line our full-game side pick. Considering the recent offensive struggles of the Blues and the potential absence of Dylan Larkin for the Red Wings, it's anticipated that this matchup will be a lower-scoring affair. St. Louis, ranking 26th in goals per game, faces a Detroit team that averages 2.4 goals per game in their recent meetings. In light of these factors, under the projected total is our full-game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.